about this whole Smash Ballad thing is the fact that a lot of these game developers are now getting involved. So we saw Phil Spencer talk about how he wanted Banjo to be inside of Smash Brothers for the Ballad thing, right? And next thing you know, we have people who were suggesting things like Shantae, for example. But not just the people, the game developers for these companies, for these characters as well, too, are coming in. This is what makes this whole thing so interesting. Now, it seems like it's not only just a vote between the masses of people that play Smash Brothers, like the general public, but now even the game developers are getting involved, the, the character creators and whatnot, and I love it. I feel like this is amazing publicity for Smash Brothers because it's already a massive game. And then you have all of these developers that are trying to get their characters in the game now. Go vote for our character, no, go vote for ours. It's amazing. Do you know what kind of freaking publicity this could bring to Smash? Because now, oh my god, the, the possibilities are insane. But anyways, now, if you guys didn't know, Shantae is actually being suggested by um, the game developer. So now, let's see here. Um, let's see. Kingdom Mark, Kingdom X Mark? Kingdom X Mark. Yeah, thank you for suggesting me this. I didn't have even known about this if you didn't show me, because no one else did. Either way, let's take a look at the My Nintendo News article. So Shantae, if you don't know, she's a really charming character from an old Game Boy Color game. And it's been remade a couple of times. She now has a game on the eShop for the 3DS and the Wii U that you can purchase on, you know, I, I don't know how much it is, but you can, you can purchase it for a good price. Either way, um, this is a really cool game series that I guess never really blew up, but Shantae is still a very highly recognizable character. I mean, her, her image, of course, has changed from the old days, but she's still a really cool character. Um, WayForward really wants Shantae in Super Smash Bros. I gotta say, I like the alternate costumes as well too. Very different, very colorful, you know. I think she could work in the game. Apparently there's a zombie version and, uh, and uh, a pajama version. And you know, it, it, they really seem like they're doing a whole lot of work to get Shantae into Smash. And like I said, I think this is amazing publicity. Either way, WayForward has decided to Excuse me, I just say some twizzlers. WayForward has decided the latest Kickstarter update for Shantae, Half Genie Hero, to urge its fans to vote for Shantae to appear in Smash as a playable character. Now, she was on the Game Boy Color, so technically speaking, she was on a Nintendo, she was on a Nintendo um, console at some point, so I think it's highly possible. The developer has even put together a set of alternate outfits that could potentially be used by the Purple Hero Genie if she is added to the Smash roster. If you want Shantae featured in the next Nintendo Nintendo's fighting game, be sure to cast your vote for her in the Smash Brothers Fighter Ballot. So, very interesting color character variety here, you know? Like, we have Banjo, we got Shantae, and not only Shantae and Banjo, we also got Meat Boy, apparently, from uh, Super Meat Boy. <laughs> I know, it's so random. I want to also give a shout out to the Game Slashers for showing me this. Um, yeah, Super- Damn, um, oh. son, where'd you find this? What the hell was that? I gotta turn the volume down on this thing. But, I mean, a lot of you guys should know where Super Meat Boy is from and whatnot, but apparently his game developers want him to be in the game as well, too. Um, Team Meat has mentioned him on Twitter saying, this would be amazing, go make it happen and go vote. So, here's what I'm saying, man. Like, Sakurai basically has created a game which is getting indie developers, big developers, to try to get their characters inside. And it, could, it just works out so well. I can see this being such a reoccurring, regular thing, you know? And who knows, if these developers are willing to give Sakurai their resources to get their characters in that game, then imagine the possibilities. We could potentially be getting two characters as DLC for next year, or three characters, you know? All I'm saying is that I feel like this is a great move for Smash Brothers in general because now you have all these efforts to get their characters in the game by people who actually have influence from productivity, resources, manpower to be able to get work done. So it wouldn't just be Sakurai sitting there, okay, how am I going to develop this character? Where am I going to make these models? What the hell is the moveset going to be? No, the game developers are coming on board and they're saying, hey man, you know, we have alternate op we have alternate outfits for our character already done. We can get models on these without a problem. You know, we want to work with you to get this character in the game. If people want this, then by all means, we're willing to move forward with you. We can give you money, resources, manpower, all that stuff. So here's what I'm saying, man. Smash Brothers has a really bright future ahead of it in more ways than one. But right now, the way that matters the most to most people is getting their character in the game. And stuff like seeing Shantae and Meat Boy auditioned for this by their own developers is just, it's beauty, to be honest with you. But what do you guys think of the whole thing? Um, what other characters are you hoping that game developers try to get inside of Smash Brothers? To be honest with you guys, I'm hoping that Ubisoft makes a pull for Rayman to be in there. I'm hoping that they start some kind of effort to get things built up to get Rayman in. Because, you know, it would be amazing. Considering the whole Rayman drama anyways, that showed people that Rayman was really wanted in the game. So if Ubisoft was able to say, you know what, hey guys, we have like a, you know, we have like a little inkling to get Rayman in the game. So why don't you guys go and vote for him in the Smash Bros. ballot? Hey, it could work. 
Either way, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.